Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the Indian Rafal vs. Pakistani J-10CE fighter debate. The Indian Air Force purchased 36 Rafal F-3R, and in response, Pakistan purchased the Chinese J-10CE fighter aircraft for its Air Force. Announcing the purchase, Pakistan's minister said the J-10CE was a counter to Indian Rafals. In this video, we will discuss if that is true. We will compare the general characteristics of the two aircraft and how it affects the combat in the beyond visual range in close combat. So, stay till the end of the video. Comparing the Rafal F-3R and the J-10CE is difficult and intricate because both are 4.5 generation fighter jets with distinct strengths and weaknesses. Here's an overview of their main features. Both have supersonic performance, with the Rafal reaching Mach 2.1 and the J-10CE achieving Mach 2.0. Because of its two engines, the Rafal has a somewhat longer combat range, 1,500 km versus 1,100 km. Both are extremely maneuverable, with the J-10C's single engine and delta wing giving it an advantage in dogfights at certain speeds. In the sensors and avionics sector, Rafal's RBE-2 active electronically scanned array or the AESA radar outperforms the J-10C's passive electronically scanned array or the PESA radar. No official Pakistani source says it has the Type 1475 or KLJ-7A AESA radar with 1,200 TRMs. The Talios pod on the Rafal allows longer range targeting and higher resolution. Both aircraft have advanced electronic warfare or the EW suites, although the Rafal is thought to be more sophisticated. Both aircraft have capable missiles. The Rafal can carry a broader range of guided bombs and missiles, including laser-guided and GPS-guided options. The Rafal has been used in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq, and Syria, providing an operational advantage. It has no prior experience with J-10CE or other modern Chinese aircraft. J-10CE has zero combat experience. Rafal has a technological advantage in sensors, avionics, and armaments. The J-10CE may be more agile at certain speeds and cost less per unit. Let us look at their strengths and weaknesses in BVR combat. The Rafal F-3R and the J-10CE have strengths and limitations in the field of beyond visual range or BVR engagement, with the Rafal generally holding the upper hand due to technological developments. Here is a list of their abilities. The Rafal F-3R Thales RB-2 AESA radar outperforms the J-10C's PESA in terms of detection and tracking range, letting it identify and potentially engage targets before the J-10CE ever detects them. The Meteor BVR AM long range air to air missile with a range of over 100 km gives the Rafal a substantial advantage in terms of technology and range. The Rafal's Spectrum Electronic Warfare System protects it from adversary radar jamming and detection, potentially disguising its launch preparations and increasing the element of surprise. At the same time, the J 10C's single engine and delta wing configuration may provide an advantage in agility at certain speeds, potentially allowing it to dodge incoming BVR missiles by last minute maneuvers. As already mentioned, it does, however, have radar limits. The PESA radar on the J-10CE has a lower detection and tracking range than the AESA on the Rafal, putting it at a disadvantage in initiating BVR engagements. The J-10CE is equipped with PL-15 BVR missiles, which have long range but lack the sophistication of the Meteor on the Rafal. Because of its larger fuel capacity, the PL-15 may have a greater range than the Meteor, However, the export version's range is reportedly lower at 145 km. Meteor's ramjet engine gives it a sustained high speed throughout its flight, potentially aiding terminal phase attack. PL-15 might have a higher initial speed, about Mach 5+, plus, but they lose velocity quicker towards the end. The EW suite on the J-10CE may be less effective against the Rafal Spectra system, making it vulnerable to jamming and detection. The Rafal's excellent BVR capabilities, which include long-range radar, powerful meteor missiles, and a sophisticated EW system, give it a significant advantage in beyond visual range engagements. On the other hand, the J-10C's tactical agility and longer range missiles should not be overlooked. Now, let us look at the close combat. With invisible range or WVR, the Rafal F-3R and J-10CE encounter a distinct dynamic in which elements like maneuverability, pilot skill, and situational awareness take the main stage. The 30mm giant 30M75E cannon that Rafal is equipped with is known for its rapidity and precision. Uh, it can carry additional ammunition pods for extended combat. 
For close combat, Rafal can use MBDA Mika IRRF homing air-to-air -air missiles for short-distance dogfighting. Osram or the Advanced Short Range Air-to-Air Missile is meant for all weather conditions. For close quarters combat, our 550 Magic 2 Short Range Infrared Homing Missiles can be used. In addition, it can use Sidewinder AIM 9M missiles, which are designed for intense off boresight engagements. The twin 23mm Type 23 to 3 cannons on the J 10CE strike an effective balance between projectile size and rate of fire. The aircraft can use PL 10 short range infrared homing missiles during dogfighting in close combat. PL 8BC and PL 9C radar guided missiles are available for all weather conflict while PL-12 active radar-guided missiles are designed for longer-range engagements. The dual M88 engines provide a stronger thrust-to-weight ratio, allowing for better acceleration and energy retention in dogfights. The Raffles Canard Delta Wing configuration provides outstanding agility and a fast roll rate, allowing it to change direction swiftly and maintain tight turns. The Spectra EW system can interfere with opposing radar and targeting systems, potentially providing the Rafal a competitive advantage in situational awareness and evasive maneuvers. Advanced avionics and displays, such as the integrated helmet-mounted display and comprehensive information displays, provide superior situational awareness and targeting capabilities. The potential superior maneuverability of the Rafal at high velocities can be attributed to its delta wing configuration, canards, and thrust vectoring. Smaller in size and lighter in weight, the J-10CE may possess enhanced agility at lower velocities. Their thrust-to-weight ratios are comparable, signifying that their maneuvering sheer power is also comparable. Raffle is more stealthy than J-10CE. However, it is perceived that Raffle's bigger size and RCS may make it a significantly simpler target to track and latch onto when compared to the J-10CE. This aspect is not true. Raffle's low RCS is the subject of a new video that we will make next so stay subscribed along with the notification bell. Finally, for a single pilot aircraft, this is critical. While multi-role and capable in WVR, the Rafal lacks the specialized attention and agility training of fighters like the J-10CE. In simple words, this boils down to pilot skills. Do you think Pakistani J-10CE can defeat Indian Rafals in a battle? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.